Possible. Possible. Crazy boy. 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 Possible. Let's talk about it. Let's walk straight into it. Brother Comar, story in your neighborhood. Is a story in your neighborhood or somewhat close? Well, let's say Texas. Let's say Texas. Oh, before I even get to that, I'm being so rude. Man, welcome back again. Short text, man. I got my brother co-host, Dr. Comar in the building. Always hold it down with the kid. Then I got brother Ruben reporting live from the 215. No, nah, it just rhymed. But he's actually down in North Carolina holding it down, man. How y'all brothers doing today? I'm doing good, doing well, doing well. All I'm right, man. That's what I love to hear, man. Now straight into it. Now straight into it. Only on 13, we were there as Friendswood police swarmed the home of a 17-year-old who is now charged with murder. The arrest comes just one day after he posted his $1 million bond. ABC 13's Brooke Taylor was the only one there, and she joins us live with the latest. Bro Have a story down here in the Galveston area of Texas. A team by the name. I don't know right now. Greg, some of the victim's family members have been posting on social media asking how someone who's accused of a violent crime is able to be home and spend Christmas with their family while another family is grieving. Now, 24 hours later, and Connor Hilton is charges have been upgraded, and we were there as officers surrounded his family's home and arrested him for murder. His name, <laughs> <laughs> Connor Hilton. Connor Hilton. Goddamn, try to back though his homies in though of his home with the revolver, man. Smoke one, one still alive. Maybell, he back. Brother Colmar. Bro, you know we got to talk about it. We have to talk about it. With their guns drawn, Friendswood police swarm the home of a 17 year old now murder suspect. Still no movement from inside the home. The officer gets back on the bullhorn. We have a warrant. Come to the door now. When you came across this story, what the hell, man? What what the hell? That's all I got to say, man. What the, what the hell, brother? What the hell? That's exactly what I thought. That's exactly what I thought. I was like, man, he, first of all, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. <laughs> He asked his mom, his parents, mm -hmm. that could she buy him a gun? Okay. First of all, who asked her parents to buy them a gun and then gets them a gun at 17 years old? He committed, he wanted to say he wanted to commit homicide. Got the gun, killed, to, well, killed one of his friends, one is still in critical conditions. Then he told... Wait, wait, wait. Allegedly. 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 There you go. Allegedly. allegedly. Let's go with the fingers. You gotta go with the fingers, baby. <laughs> well, let's back up to it. <laughs> Even though he confessed to shooting him and killing him, it's still allegedly. I'm, I know I'm laughing about it because he. You, how can you confess to it but still allegedly murder somebody? I don't understand that. that and that's what brought me to the story because you allegedly confessed to it and then you don't get the charge. I don't know. It makes no sense to me at all. Um, and then got out with a million dollar bond. So his parents was, you know, put up the house and the mortgage and was like, you know, it's still crazy to me. It's, you know, he cried about it. I guess the blood or something like that, of him killing his friends and seeing his friends, like, bro, it's not Fortnite. Minutes later, the door opens and Connor Hilton is walked out in handcuffs and arrested. That's my take on it, man. I don't know. You just can't. I just can't kill your friends and be like, hey, uh, let me reset this button and see, can they come back? No reset button. There's no there's no gulags, bro. This so, ain't the gulag. You it. right. Any comment? Hilton was arrested earlier this week after two men were shot on LaSalle Street where he lives. One of the victims, 18-year-old Eric Riley, died at the hospital, and the other victim is still in critical condition, according to police. Hilton was originally charged with two counts of aggravated assault causing serious bodily injury. His bond was raised to $1 million, which he was able to post on Sunday, allowing him to spend Christmas with his family at home. That is until officers showed up at his front door with a new warrant. Hilton is now charged with murder. He was taken to the Friendswood City Jail before he's going to be transferred to the Galveston County Jail. This 17-year-old kid blew, blew his mans down. Blew him down, once still alive, critical condition. 
if you read the article, he was visibly distraught. 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 Now, this is why I think this is weird for an alleged murder. Why? And again, I, I, you know, I love white people. I love y'all. But y'all always got some cool ways to goddamn make it seem like y'all can, this shit always accidental for some reason. Not all y'all, but sometimes. And that's kind of bothered me. Because, bro, the man said he wanted to kill. To get it clear, he had the thirst to kill. Even, as Dr. Komar said, encouraged his parents to get him a firearm. Got the revolver, smoked his man's, and this house. And you see how they trying to play it down now? Like, he just some innocent kid who just kind of went in, out of his mind for a second. But he's been premeditating this. And Friendswood police have been outspoken about the bond conditions on the original charges, like no GPS monitor. Now with these upgraded charges, the chief says he is assured that the appropriate bond conditions would now be set. If you read the article, he was visibly distraught. 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 Now, this is why I think this is weird for an alleged murder. Why? And again, I, I, you know, I love white people. I love y'all. But y'all always got some cool ways to goddamn make it seem like y'all can, this shit always accidental for some reason. Not all y'all, but sometimes. And that's kind of bothered me. Because, bro, the man said he wanted to kill. To get it clear. He had the thirst to kill. Even, as Dr. Komar said, encouraged his parents to get him a firearm. Got the revolver, smoked his mans, and this house. And you see how they trying to play it down now? Like, he just some innocent kid who just kind of went in, out of his mind for a second. But he's been premeditating this for a while. For some, for some time. Mm -hmm. For some time. Brother Ruger. Crazy. Hearing this story, man, when it came across your timeline, which came through the messenger, what was your thoughts on this when you seen this? My thoughts actually was, I was super surprised because for somebody that had that type of motivation to ask their mom to get them a gun at the age of 17 is, is crazy itself, but for her to get him the gun is even crazier, you know what I'm saying? And for him to be premeditating something allegedly and to do that, yeah, it's it's wild to me, man. And for them to give him a bond, that just shows like what type of privilege he has. Not trying to point any fingers, but yeah. Nah, we calling that shit out, bro. Yeah, remember, we not racist, bro. Remember, we all everybody in here fuck with somebody who's white. You know what I'm saying? We not right. ducking, not we listen, bro. We getting this shit straight right now, bro. Bro, black is black, white is white, bro. There ain't shit gray about this. So nah, That's man. Green. Yeah, bro. You know how this go, man. You gotta speak of how it is. So there's nothing you saying is wrong, bro. This is how it is, and that's sad and unfortunately. Um, in this case, Dr. Comart, from all the information you gathered, what do you think is gonna be the outcome from this young man? First of all, I had a question. Uh oh, let's talk I about it. Question. Do you think that his parents should be charged with aggravated murder, manslaughter, something because of the fact that they actually allegedly or proceeded? We don't know what the case may be. Bought him this 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 murder weapon, this gun, or however he got it. Because remember, he's underage. And he asked his parents to get him a weapon. And this weapon may have allegedly cost a teenager their life, an 18-year-old, and another person maybe lost their life. What do y'all think? Brother Ruger, I'm going to let you follow on that first. What's your opinion on that? Um, I definitely believe that she played a part in what happened, the, the events that transpired allegedly, but, you mm -hmm. know, um, that's definitely a conspiracy charge on, you know, in the, in the regular world, you know. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know if she should get charged, but, you know, <laughs> I don't know, brother. It's, 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 it's know, just tricky. It's a touchy subject. It's tricky, but I'm not going to lie. Yes. They should get charged. <laughs> they should fucking get charged. Sex with a murder. 
Straight up. Yeah. Let's not even dance around it, bro. You accessory. How many people that went to jail, regardless of color, that had the same situation? How many people that lost got got life in prison? Minimum ten to fifteen for accessory, for enabling somebody to do this. Rather, they that was your intention or not to give them the gun or the firearm, the weapon, however you want to say it properly. Yes, because if I'm being real, if this was our backyard, the the low vibrant community of the ghettos of America, this is not even a question. Everybody getting run out. You see, mom, you see what happened with. Um, all about the curse. You see what happened with my man's in L.A. at that time, the rapper, PNB Rock. Remember, mm-hmm. the son went and did his thing. Even yet, the mom and the mom knew about it regardless, but they took them all down. They all a part of it. And the mom ain't do shit. She was with them, but she ain't do shit. The fact that she ain't called the police or been an accessory to help them made it might difficult for her, but it's the same thing. And even, actually, their situation is more easier than this young man. They gave him a gun. It happened in their home. And we ain't finna act like we ain't gonna find some some psyche files. He gonna see somebody and talk about some of his weird shit. Probably, probably, or allegedly, that know that he had this type of temperament. So, to answer your question, brother, I really think they should be charged. Remember, in, the, in America, I say this all the time, if y'all wanna give blacks Equal left, you got to get the white equal right to the same punishment of our color. Anybody who fall victim to this, we can't keep letting this goddamn complexion that has a protection slide because we know black has the complexion for neglection. So because you white, don't make it right. I'm sorry. Yeah, I've got to go. 25 in life, they ass, send them up the fucking river, Chattahoochee Bay, Alcatraz. I personally don't give a fuck. I'm saying it straight. I listen, the jokes is funny, you know, when we walked in with this, but be real. That shit fucked up, bro. If I literally went out and bought my son a gun and he did that, even if I may gave it to him for the, his best, his best defense of protecting himself in the outside world, and he did something heinous as this, and my name's on it, guess who's coming to knocking at my goddamn door? Mm-hmm. The Popo. I'm sorry, bro, his ass gotta go. She got to go. He got to go. Anybody that was around that to collaborate that respectfully, your ass got to go. You accessory. Dr. Comar, we, we, we need you to touch on your own question now. What's up, man? What you, you, you think going to happen, brother? Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, uh, I'm just going to say it. DJ Cali, hey, that boy need a deal. Another um, one. Another one. Yeah, another one. I... I do think she need to be charged. Um, anybody need to be charged around there. They need. They all need to go. I'm. I'm with you. Um, correctly. Uh, but the fact that the lawyer right now is trying to claim that he should be let off because of the fact that they don't think that he was arraigned right and that nobody was there because he was a 17 year old feels kind of shaky to me. Feels out of out of place, but. Even for him, just even privilege. He, I get it. He, I, I get it. he was seventeen. And he should have a parent there, a lawyer there. Is all you know, all wrong. You have rights. Everybody have rights, but he did it. I don't care, juvenile, whatever. You, if we would, if we would have did it, like you said, black, white, green, orange, purple, yellow, the rainbows, LGBTQ, IA, two plus, whatever. Anybody who would have did it, 17, 16, 15, 14, 12. We got ten year olds right now killing ten year olds with guns. If you if you have the capacity to do it, the mindset to do it, you have the right to be in jail for whatever you did. And you, I mean, he has a he has to go down for it. He he wanted to do it. He said he was going to do it. They have proof of it. I mean, it is what it is. Yes, everybody should be charged, and he should be charged too. Very simple, cut and dry. Short takes the anti-network and we talked about it.